This lecture is going to cover the nervous system, structure, and function. There are a variety of functions for the nervous system. However, we're going to focus on three major ones. The first one is sensory reception. We've talked about this a little bit in the past. Um, this deals with your five senses, of course, so any sort of external or internal stimuli that might set off the nervous system and send a message onto your brain or central nervous system to cause a reaction, which actually kind of jumps down to the third one, causing a motor response. Um, that's any type of reaction to these stimuli. And then the third one is performing integration. So integration, of course, is bringing everything together. And so it takes all these sensory signals from your body, any type of information from throughout your body, and brings it together and makes sense of it all so it can make appropriate decisions or make appropriate reactions on what to do. Of course, there are two divisions of the, sen or of the nervous system. One is the central nervous system, which is made of your brain and your spinal cord. And then the other one is the peripheral nervous system, which is all your other bodily nerves that connect back to the brain and the spinal cord. But I've got a lecture on each of these later, so we're going to go into more detail as we get to those. This is a picture of a neuron. Neurons are also known as nerve cells. Nerve cell, neuron, same thing. And there are a couple of main characteristics on it. The long, straggling tail at the end, labeled axon sends information, that's where nerve impulses are sent to other nerve cells or neurons. The dendrites are the little tree branch looking things off the front of the cell and they receive chemical signals and information from other nerves as they send impulses out. And then the cell body is the, I guess, meat of the cell you can see there and that's where the nucleus is. You can see the nucleus labeled there. There are three types of neurons in your body, sensory neurons, inner neurons, and motor neurons. Sensory neurons take messages from external and internal stimuli and send these messages on to your central nervous system. Once the messages reach the central nervous system, the inner neurons carry them throughout to be interpreted, and then they get sent back to the rest of your body through motor neurons, which elicit some type of response. A typical neuron is polarized when it's at rest. And this means that there's opposi opposition in charge. So when at rest, a neuron is positive on the outside and negative on the inside. And it gets this way through something called the sodium-potassium pump. And this is a pump that will actually pump sodium and potassium in or out of the nerve cell as needed to create this opposition in charge. Now when an impulse goes through the neuron, it changes the charge, it switches it around so it becomes positive on the inside and negative on the outside. It kind of allows for the charge to get fired across the neuron. And then it has to return back to the state of rest where it's positive on the outside and negative on the inside. And again it does this through the sodium potassium pump. In between each neuron is a small little gap called the synapse. Right, and this is just the space between the axon of one neuron and the dendrite of another. Now across this synapse you have neurotransmitters. These, just if you break down the word neuro meaning neuron or nerve, transmit means like to carry a message across, right? And so a neurotransmitter carries these little chemical messages across the synapse in between two neurons or two nerve cells. And these little chemical messages are what causes the nerves to fire and know what message that they are sending specifically. So an example of a neurotransmitter could be acetylcholine. That's the most common one. It regulates various functions in your body. So now an actual nerve is a collection of nerve cells or neurons. Right? So it's a whole bunch of nerve cells that make a tissue called a nerve. The largest nerve in your body is your sciatic nerve. It starts kind of around your lower back and hooks, hooks around kind of your hip area and down through your leg. It's quite a large nerve. And so I want to end on the difference between a neuron, a nerve cell, and a nerve because this can be confusing for people. A neuron and a nerve cell are the same thing and a nerve, as I said before, is a bunch of nerve cells or a bunch of neur neurons that make the nerve tissue nerve.